Hey, good morning. Yes, we're looking at what is a digital twin because Canadians obviously trust science. So we need to look in all this. What did I find this morning just digging around? I'm going to keep this really simple and basic and straight to the point, right? A digital twin is a virtual digital replica of a process or product. Now, I'm not going to show you the video because it's basically just showing you pictures. So I'm going to show you them so I don't get a strike. Based on machine learning and predictive and prescriptive models, hmm, notice down low I see a 322 two plus of course the rotary sign, but anyway, anyway, let's keep going. It collects data allowing to monitor complex processes. Hmm. So the computer is learning. This is nothing new. We understand that, right? Predict potential impact of change. So kind of like problem, reaction, solution, yeah, basically the same mindset I'm just saying, and optimize quality and self-learning. Hmm, kind of like what Mr. Slaoui said, right? He said nano devices read electrical impulses, they analyze them, decide if they are right or wrong. If wrong, they can erase and rewrite to modify a particular order or biology. Huh, right, right, we, we saw that, we know, bullseye, right? Nothing more needs to be said there, but we're introducing, introducing digital twins in the scoop development. Huh, digital twins in scoop development so they can predict potential impact of change. What does that sound like to you guys? I don't know, but to me it sounds like the CRISPR technology, right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, as part of our goal, ambition to accelerate availability of a new scoop. Hmm, there was GSK, do more, feel better, live longer. Yes, we know they want to live longer. In another entire video, they had this. If successful, this cutting edge technology could... I'm just going to leave it there. I really don't want to see anything more on this because I, I believe they said one thing right in there. It's the cutting edge, cutting the DNA, right? Hmm. If you know nothing about this, listen to this real short clip. Several new studies released in the last few months suggest that we need to be more cautious when editing the human genome. Suggest that we need to be more cautious when editing the human genome. Two of these studies found that when CRISPR performs its hallmark trick and cuts DNA, that damage can kill the cell or make it stop growing. That damage can kill the cell or make it stop growing. CRISPR permanently alters your genome, so we want to make sure we get it right before we make moves in real human bodies. Well, CRISPR permanently alters your genome, so we want to make sure we get it right before we make moves in real human bodies. Well, well, science marches on. Well, science marches on. New and improved versions of this kind of technology are already racing forward, like a genetic editing tool called Repair, which uses a different cutting enzyme. Called Repair, which uses a different cutting enzyme, Cas13. Repair. Very interesting, CRISPR, Cas9, Cas13, but would I trust this girl? Absolutely not. A, she's wearing orange, and of course, you can see what's on her shirt, so yeah. But I'm just saying, a lot of good information is out there. You can find it. I'll try to look for some other things, but all I know is that this technology, yeah, there's a lot of dangers around that. You should understand that. But let's get on to what's been going on in Toronto and what Prime Minister Trudeau had to say. Everyone's tired of the C, right? Absolutely. Everyone's tired of COVID. It's because Canadians trust science. It's because Canadians trust science. It's because Canadians trust science. Well, I can say to you, Mr. Trudeau, and anyone out there, I'm Canadian, and I can tell you where I put my trust in. <laughs> and it's not in what he's saying, and it's in, in God, in God. And they think, they think, just listen... That's right. They think that they will win. Science will win. <laughs> well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you don't win. You don't win. 
God is the great I am. He is the one that was and is and will be forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom is knowing how little we actually know, if you want to take a quote from someone out there. But I'll give you a quote that the beginning of fear is the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And when you know the truth, oh, he will set you free. He will set you free. All right, that's it. God bless. Take care. Till next time.